good morning to you all or good day or good night whenever you're watching this today's a bit different Mazzy, which is me is going to be cooking a sunday roast in the motorhome i'm going to show you guys it can be done you haven't got to live on pot noodles rubbishy little meals like that you can make a full roast dinner in your motorhome so here is just a few of the ingredients i'm going to be using i've got four calvary style yorkshire puddings i've got some beef dripping for the roast potatoes bag of baby carrots head of cabbage sage and onion stuffing joint of beef oh no it's not beef sorry lamb <laughs> that's because i was debating whether to get beef or lamb um, and parsnips and I have a few more vegetables obviously and potatoes and gravy which I haven't placed here yet right so first job get your oven preheated this is a gas oven and mine goes up to number six so I'll preheat that for a little while while I chop some vegetables first thing to do is I've got the meat out a half a leg of lamb is to get your meat on soon as possible because i'm just looking for some salt sorry guys because if your oven's anything like mine it certainly isn't as powerful as as one you'd have at home and actually i might do some little herbs and stuff on this while i'm here um what goes well with lamb maybe a bit of thyme don't know let's no harm in experimenting. <laughs> there we go. So I'm just going to get that into the oven. Right, next job is to start peeling and preparing vegetables. Now I might speed this bit up guys because I don't think you really want to be watching me do this. So I've peeled and chopped up some potatoes. I've used a mixture of red, which are rooster reds and whites because that's what I had. You can just use whatever you have. So boil that, not as long as you would mash, just boil it for about 10 minutes. While they're boiling, I'm just gonna get the goose, oh wait, it's not goose fat, sorry, it's British beef dripping. I'm just gonna plunk a lot of this into the roasty tray. And get this in the oven to heat up because we need this as hot as possible to stick the roasties in. Just going to chop up my um, cabbage. Get rid of the outer leaves. I don't eat the outer leaves. Put them in the bin. boiling now for five minutes and I like to use one pot for everything so now I'm going to stick these in for the last five minutes I think I could I think I've done too many potatoes to be honest <laughs> in the meantime crack open a can of beer just what the chef needs It's just cheapy um, sage and onion stuffing, but it's actually quite nice. Now, if I was making a real, real proper dinner, I'd probably add a load of extra bits and pieces to this. Oh, I don't know if that's going to be big enough. <laughs> but I live in a motorhome. We manage. That's the way we rock and roll. This is going to go everywhere.
That'll do. So what I'm doing here, guys, I'm just trying to collect it up as one big sort of, I suppose a bit like a meatloaf. Do you see what I mean? It's kind of now got a shape and I can slice it like this, you see. Sometimes I do balls and other shapes or whatever, but just do whatever. There we go. So it's kind of like that. And just tuck it in. I've just took the parsnips out so I can just deal with the potatoes at the moment. So I've drained all the water off, put the lid back on, and give them a good to rustle them all up. You see, they're getting a bit rustly. And at this point, actually, at this point, I'm going to add a few herbs. I'm going to add again some rosemary because I do like rosemary. Um, Roast potatoes, rosemary, I'll keep that out, I might need a bit more, and thyme, rosemary and thyme. Right, there we go, so I'm just going to shake them up a bit. Be careful at this point guys because this beef dripping is absolutely boiling but they but it does make lovely roast potatoes um, goose fat um, anything like that lovely I right, just got to be careful if I do it this way <laughs> And obviously, as you know, in a motorhome, the ovens, the ovens just aren't really that big. So I've still got the stuffing to put in. So I might just plonk that. Do you know what? I'll just plonk that there. <laughs> Try and keep the place as tidy as you can along the way making the dinner. Because, as you know, living in a motorhome, you're short of space as it is. So it's best just to really keep tidy. And then you'll have more space. Gosh, it's getting hot in here. That's the problem with the motorhome when you're cooking in the oven. It do get awfully hot. Um, but I enjoy it. Don't let it be stressful. Cooking in a motorhome isn't stressful. Um, a matter of fact, I really, really enjoy it. So the meat is ready. It's had just over two hours. But these all need to... So I need to get the meat out of the oven to give me some spare room. Because these just aren't crispy yet at all. So I'm just going to wrap... OMG, look at that. Look at that, guys. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Yeah, so I'm just going to wrap this in foil and stick the rest back in the oven. So my niece has arrived, Angel. She came in, she was like, oh, it smells gorgeous. She's telling me to hurry up, though. Well, I'm trying. There's only so much this little oven can do. So, Angel, yes, I'm trying to get your dinner on the table for you. So it's all coming along nicely. Oh, my God, I'm just so good. <laughs> and it smells so delicious. So it's coming along, and I'm just ready now to dish up. So I'm going to dish my little Angel up because um, she's the most hungriest one. It keeps moving.
I'm so hungry. Let me go and give this to Angel. Look, I can't shut the door properly. So I've had a lot of oven troubles today, which has caused problems with the heat, crisping things up. But yeah, I'm sure Angel will be pleased. I know I'm looking forward to mine. So this one's my one, guys. OMG, I'm so hungry. I can't wait to eat. Oh my God. Mmm. Oh my God, it's so tasty. God, I haven't actually had a proper meal for so long. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, that was so yummy, guys. Considering it was the first meal I've had for a long time, I really enjoyed that. I'm no, no, I'm no Nigella Lawson or anything, but considering the oven is playing up, it's really not sort of powering out, getting up to heat, let's say. And then the door got stuck as well. So that wasn't keeping the heat in. I think I did all right. So anyway, yep, I hope you enjoyed my cooking today. It wasn't the best, but I enjoyed it. Shame you didn't get to have none. Love y'all. Bye.